Good morning. I first came to this church 22 years ago because my husband felt that our then five-year-old son needed to have a good Unitarian Sunday School education and values as he'd had in his own youth. So I came to see what my son would be experiencing and I stayed because of what I began to experience myself. Over the years, my family has benefited deeply from being part of this church. Each of us was accepted for who we were by this community. We were also helped to see a path where we could become more of who we really are. It is an amazing blessing to find a beloved community that it can help you in this way. As I saw what a gift this community is to us, I began to feel that I needed to find a way to express my gratitude. I became a pledging member of the church and attended services, but soon realized that this is not enough. The church, unlike the government, does not collect money from us and then hire people to take care of the many jobs that are needed to keep this community vital and vibrant. This hit home for me one night at a potluck organized by members of the congregation. Someone complained to me, they didn't heat up water for tea. Who is this they, I thought? There is no they, there is only us. Thus began a long career as a church volunteer, always remembering there is only us. I taught Sunday school for a number of years, putting my teaching experience to good use in the service of religious education. I joined the Religious Education Committee and eventually joined the Board of Managers as a Religious Education Commissioner, serving three two-year terms. I currently serve as the Membership Commissioner, finishing up my third two-year term in this capacity. Often, as I juggle our evening board meetings with my early morning rising and teaching schedule, I've had to remind myself, there is only us. When I came to this church, needing it for my family and myself, it was here because others, there were others before me whose volunteer efforts had kept it going. People who served on the board of managers, people who cleaned up after coffee hour, people who organized potlucks and activities, and people who greeted me when I came in. So I'm asking each of you, if you are grateful for this community, if you received this gift of acceptance and gift of the opportunity to explore who you really are, to remember there is only us. I hope that the leaders of this church, myself included, can always help you to see more ways that you can repay this gift. And I also invite you to ask yourself, how can I help? Can I help clean up after coffee hour today? Can I put away some chairs after this community event? Can I organize a group of like-minded folks to talk about a topic of interest? Can I reach out to this new person who is sitting in a pew near me. Because in this church community, there is no they. There is only us. And we are the ones who must keep it alive and healthy for the next people who will walk through our doors needing a place like this. Thank you. <laughs>